I would like to request Dr. Venugopal sir, family, please come on the dais for the lightning lamp. Firstly, I would like to thank all the friends and family members of Dr. Venu Gopal sir for coming all the way and thank you so much. We are about to start this evening. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I am Nand Gopal, Venu's brother and your voice host for the evening. I'd like to thank you for joining us and paying our tributes to Dr. Veni Gopal and hundreds of other doctors and healthcare professionals who laid their lives in the call of duty. Ever since India became an independent nation, we never had lost so many doctors and healthcare staff due to a single cause. Today's event is not so much about statistical numbers, it's about human lives that are full of emotions it's about our successes, failures, joy and sorrow, pain, tears and hope. Let's begin the story. Can you see the temple over there? You may see the image of a bit blurred, giving it an older look. This is the temple of course of a very vintage value. It's actually built originally in the year 1825 by the king of Babili. Later, the tall temple tower at the entrance, taller than the mandap itself, was built in the year 1851. This is Venugopal Swami Temple in Bobili, a town about 120 kilometers from here. But how is it connected to the doctor Venugopal here? Perhaps you would see a picture there of young Venu, but before his born, the young mother of our dear daughter used to pray there, seeking the blessings of the deity to fulfill her wish to have a son. The Lord listened to her prayers and a healthy baby was born on September 25, 1958. The overjoyed mother named her baby boy after the deity as Venugopal. The baby boy Venugopal, or Venu to his dear family, used to be as naughty as the Chinni Krishna in his chair. He would hide behind the doors and would not show up even for food until his mother sang his favorite song.
boy grew up in no time to become the most playful boy in the neighborhood. When his father with his hard earning savings built their own house in Attapal. Interestingly, his housing society in the neighborhood of Attapal was called Brindavan Colony. There are of course less gopitas and more gopis in the Brindavan Colony. It's a place where Venu grew up, went to school, college, made his many friends, admirers, and later in his life, ran his children's clinic there for decades. At Brindavan Colony, life appeared to be literally a child's play. This is the picture of Venu in his preteens. You see the wide eyes and a faint smile paints a picture of innocence. Innocent he was, but he was also mischievous. Though he became a doctor later in his life, as a child, he had an ingenious urge to find the mechanism behind every gadget and appliance at home. He would break open the large radio on the desk or the wall clock when the parents were not at home. Unable to fix them back, he would hide under the bed when the angry father would find the walls, springs, screws, nuts and bolts, everything strewn all over the place, rendering the gadgets useless. But his friends in Brindavan Colony would vouch for him for his exemplary skills to fix any of the problems which they have and they'll always approach Venu as the first point of contact. I would like to show a sketch of the pawn shop in Brindavan Colony. This pawn shop was actually doubled up as a milk booth for the neighborhood. It was the most popular handout joint for the folks over there. It was so popular for many years, the Atkepalan Junction was called the Milk Booth Junction. When and his friends would meet over there for gossip, to play pranks on the passes by, discuss movies, cricket, and of course the neighborhood girls. They have too many fond memories of this childhood. ಚೆಲ್ಲರೇಗಿನ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕಾಲು ಬಂತಾಟಾದು ಕುಡು ಚೇಸ್ಕಲು ಜಟ್ಟುಗಾಳ ತುಂಟರಿ ಪೊನಲು ಕಾಲ ನೀಲು ಕುಂಚಂ ಗುಡವಲು ಚಾಡೀಲು ಪೊರ ಪಚ್ಚಾಲು ಒತ್ತು ಪೋತೆ ನೇಸ್ತಮ್ಮಳ್ಳ ಚಿನ್ನ ನಾಟಿ ಆನವಾಳ್ಳು ಸ್ನೇಹನ್ಲು ಮೈಲುರಾಳ್ಳು ಅಡಗೊತ್ತನಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ನಾನ ಪಕ್ಕಿಂಟ್ಲು ಪೇಕ ಬೇರಂ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ಲು ಚಿನ್ನ ಗೋಲ ಕಾಯಿ ರಜ ಕಾಯಿ ಕಾಯಿ ರಜ ಕಾಯಿ ಕಾಯಿ ರಜ ಕಾಯಿ ಕಾಯಿ ರಜ ಕಾಯಿ ಸರದಾಲ್ಲೋ ನೌಲ ವೇಣು ಸರಿಪೋತೇ ನೂವೇ ಜಾನು ಚಲರೇಗಿನ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕಾಲು ಗತಿಂಚಿನ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕಾಲು ತ 
ತಲವಂಚಡು ಇಂಟ ವಂಟ ಬಲವಂತುಡು ವಾಡೇ ಮಾಜಂಟ ಸೆಲವಿಸ್ತೇ ವೀಡು ಕೋಲು ಇಕ ಚೆರಿಪೆ ಯಾನವಾಳು ವೀಧಿಲೋ ಚರಗನಿ ಗೀತ ಲುದಿಟಿ ಮೀದ ಈತಲರಾತ ಚಲರೇಗಿನ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕಾಲು ಗತಿ ತಪ್ಪಿನ ಜಾತಕಾಲು ತಲವಂಚಡು ಇಂಟ ವಂಟ ಬಲವಂತುಡು ವಾಡೇ ಮಾಜಂಟ ಸೆಲಪಿಸ್ತೇ ವೀಡು ಕೋಲು ಕಚೇರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಾನವಾಳು ದೋ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ರೋಮಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ನ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ he studied hard to clear the tough medical examination the day when he saw his number in the pass list to the entrance test perhaps was the one of the happiest days in his life he literally jumped with joy and partied hard with his friends they would see dozens of movies again and again and again just to enjoy being together but medical education is the toughest of all studies how did venu with his natural preference for fun and frolic with his friends cope with that kind of a rigorous studies he struggled hard initially but he had a knack to focus only on the most likely subjects that typically appear in the exam he would leave out the rest of the syllabus in choice and clear the exams with a minimal effort his friends would tease him that what would he do if a patient came to him about a problem he left out in the choice and did not study about no worries venu in course of time became one of the most outstanding doctors of his times he was known not only for his immense knowledge of any subject of medicine but also for his outstanding kindness towards his patients <laughs> ಮೇಡಂಟೇ ಮೇಡ ಕಾದು ಗೂಡಂಟೇ ಗೂಡು ಕಾದು ಪದಿಲಂಗಾಲ್ಲೂ ಕುಮ್ನ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಮೇಡಂಟೇ ಮೇಡ ಕಾದು ಗೂಡಂಟೇ ಗೂಡು ಕಾದು ಪದಿಲಂಗಾಲ್ಲೂ ಕುಮ್ನ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಕುಮ್ಮ ತಾನೈತೆ ವೆನ್ನೆಲವೆಲ್ಲ ಮೇಮೈತೆ ಆ ಕುಕುಮ್ಮ ತಾನೈತೆ ವೆನ್ನೆಲವೆಲ್ಲ ಪದಿಲಂಗಾನೇ ಸಿನ ಪೂಸಿನ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಮೇಡಂಟೆ ಮೇಡ ಕಾದು ಗೂಡಂಟೆ ಗೂಡು ಕಾದು ಪದಿಲಂಗಾಲ್ಲೂ ಕುನ್ನ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಪೊದರಿಲ್ಲು ಮಾದಿ ಕೋವೆಲ್ಲೋ ವೆಲಿಗೆ ದೀಪಂ ದೇವಿ ಮಾತಲ್ಲಿ 
అన్నంటే అన్న కాడు జతగాడు గాని వాడంటే వాడే గాని సరిజోడేలేని మేడంటే మేడ కాదు గూడంటే గూడు కాదు పది లంగాల్లుకున్న పొదరిల్లు మాది పొదరిల్లు మాది ఇంకా కైమైపోతే ఏ వంకో వెళ్ళిపోతే గోరింకా టైమైపోతే ఏ వంకో వెళ్ళిపోతే గూడంతా గుబులైపోదా గుండెల్లో దిగులైపోదా మేడంటే మేడ కాదు గూడంటే గూడు కాదు పది లంగాల్లుకున్న పొదరిల్లు మాది పొదరిల్లు మాది వెణు ద నాటి బాయ్ ద మిస్చివస్ టీనేజ్ స్లోలీ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఇన్ టు వెల్ రిస్పెక్టెడ్ డాక్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ హీ డాట్ హిస్ ఫస్ట్ జాబ్ అట్ ఫెరోయల్ ఆస్ కార్పొరేషన్ గరివిడి there he was a resident doctor for the factory staff workers and their families in no time he won the hearts of both the management and the staff soon he got married to subha and had a lovely wedding reception at the factory or club everything was settled but somewhere inside he knew he was struck out for something different when he loved children innately he always was at his best with the kids he soon realized that his mission in life was to do something for the children he shared his inner thoughts with friends and family he wanted to leave his well settled job near hometown and go to far away karnataka for higher studies in medicine some of his friends and family advised him not to do so they were worried that he just got married got a beautiful bungalow car and everything why leave all these comforts to go to trolleys far away and struggle all over again but venu made up his mind with the support of his parents and in-laws he left vizard with his newly married wife and set foot in karnataka for the first time to study for md medicine studying for md even when while being a bachelor with no distractions is tough for a newly married couple in a far off state with a different language it's tougher when he missed dearly his family friends and the fun time he used to have with them yet he went about his studies like never before When he passed his MD pediatrics with flying colors his MD opened up career options for him far and wide He liked Bangalore he could have easily settled there it's a big city with better career prospects but Venu was the place the, the place that was in his heart is Vizag he grew up over there earned his goodwill and friendships he didn't want to trade that for any other better emoluments he missed Vizag He missed his bike rides in the city so one fine day he came back Almost heaven was a city blue ridge mountains bare finger life is all there older than the trees younger than the mountains growing like a breeze country roads take me home to the place i belong why is it city life is a drama A 
All my memories gather round her My still city, stranger to blue water Dark and dusty, painted on the sky Missed the taste of moonshine, tear drop in my eyes Country roads, take me home to the place I belong, where's the city, Bay of Bengal I hear her voice in the morning or she calls me Radio reminds me of my home for a day Driving down the road I got a feeling that I should be home yesterday Yesterday Sorry, I've been talking only about Venu. Who became Dr. Venu Rupal, the famous children's specialist. But it's time to pay tributes to hundreds of other doctors and healthcare professionals who did equally good or even better work in healthcare and fighting the COVID wars. Who are these doctors? Do we have their names? Do we have their pictures? What were they like? What were their stories? How do we remember them? I have no accurate answers. I only believe that they were as good human beings as Venu was. So I stopped here for a while to let you absorb the fusion of our musical tributes to all of those doctors.
the phase two of his life has actually started. Perhaps this is much more troublesome phase. Dr. Venerupal was reaching his retirement. He spent over 30 years in the public service, treating thousands of patients and saving lives of hundreds of little children. For them, he was more of a family member than a doctor. Many patients consulted him not only for children health related issues, but for other ailments as well. As Dr. Venerupal expanded his medical expertise beyond pediatrics into cardiology, neurosciences, everything. In a way, he became a specialist doctor with generalist outlook. This greatly comforted his patients as it became the one-point contact for any health problems. People would actually consult him from far-off places, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Madras and even USA. He took deep interest in medical research and wrote dozens of papers in health journals. He was a popular guest speaker at many medical conferences in India and abroad. But unknown to him, trouble was brewing elsewhere in far off China. A health catastrophe the people of the world had never seen in their living memory was beginning to unfold. COVID-19 virus entered our lives. The medical fraternity began their valiant fight against the pandemic. Masks, sanitizers, social distancing became part of our lives. Dr. Venerupal was getting ready to retire peacefully and perform the wedding of his only son who was far away at US. He was planning to get disengaged from his official work to focus on the domestic front. But the government had other plans for him. The super specialty hospital, Weiser Institute of Medical Sciences, known as WIMS, was designated as an exclusive dormant facility for the COVID care. Dr. Venerupal was drafted into an additional, as an additional charge as officer on special duty to streamline the WIMS working to provide patients the best of care against COVID-19. It was a very risky and thankless job. Actually, many doctors avoided it. But Dr. Venerupal came forward to serve his people in their most frightening moments of health emergency. He plunged deep into his new assignment. His family was very concerned as the virus was not even sparing the doctors in PPE suits. But he carried on valiantly and won the hearts of many patients whose lives he saved with timely help. Shini Kesar 
साथ क्यों Venerupal won the accolades for his exemplary work in the first wave of the covid deep inside he knew it was darkness all around the world has been literally gasping for breath there were no vaccines no known treatment protocols added to the woes there were repeated lockdowns that severely impacted the mental and economic well-being of the patients families in just few months the world had literally turned topsy turvy lots of migrant laborers in india lost their daily living there was unspeakable misery everywhere
Though the first wave has taken its own toll, slowly it started receding. Governments and healthcare professionals heaved a sigh of relief. People gradually began venturing out and restarted their normal routines. As the first wave receded, Dr. Venerupal went back to his pediatrics department in KGH and began the process of winding up his long career in anticipation of retirement but then the second wave struck with a ferocity india never expected nor imagined dr venerupal was again redrafted to serve the covid patients at the wims in a rare gesture the government issued orders to extend his service by 2 years and designated him as a head of wims He was about to retire in a month and the wedding of his son was just a few weeks away but the call of duty was stronger he accepted the challenge gamely and went back to wims but destiny was different this time he and his wife both got infected with covid delta variant and were hospitalized together when he was brave he told his wife and family there was nothing to worry he has been double vaccinated and he knew about the subject and it's just a mild infection that would go away his wife admitted along with him into the hospital had had some inkling of what was coming about
मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गली की फिर हसी रात हो न हो शायद फिर से जन मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गली thousands of patients in his covid complications himself got critical from the normal ward he was soon shifted to the icu but his wife got better and got discharged from the hospital she was actually very reluctant to leave him alone in the icu but the hospital staff forced her to leave her husband in their care they felt confident that he too would come out of the danger shortly but that was not to be his case became worse by the day soon he was gasping for breath and put on ventilator ఘోరం ఆపేదెవరు ఎవరు 
రావే మందు మాకులు ఏమైరి దేశాధిపతులు సాగే ఈ మౌనం సరేనా కొండ కోనాడవి సెలయేరు గంగానది అడగండి న్యాయం ఇదేనా గాలి నింగి నీరు భూమి నిప్పు నీరు మేమే వద్దలేదు ఎప్పుడు దేవతలంతా దీవించిన దీబంధం ఇక్కడ ఇప్పుడు విడుతుంటే ఏ ఒక్కరు కూడా దిగిరారా అందరికీ ఆదర్శమని కీర్తించే ఈ వైద్యం మా వేణుని కోరగపోలేదా ఈ వ్యాధిని ఆపగలేరా విధినైనా కానీ ఎదిరించేవాడే విధి లేక నేడు ఆలసించినాడే ఏడేడు లోకాలకి సోకేను ఈ సోకం గాలి నింగి నీరు భూమి నిప్పు నీరు మేమే వద్దనలేదు ఎప్పుడు అక్కడితో అయిపోకుండా ఎక్కడా ఇల్లాలే రక్కసి విధికి చిక్కింద ఈ లెక్కన దైవం ఉందా సహనంతో పోతుల వంశం వెలిగించే పునసతిని ఆ వెలుగే వెలివేసింద ఈ జగమే చీకటి అయ్యిందా ఏ తప్పు లేని ఈ ముప్పు పాడలేరా ఎవరైనా కానీ ఈ చోటి తప్ప వీరి దారి ఏమీ లేదా నేరం చేసిందెవరు దూరం అవుతుందెవరు ఘోరం ఆపేదెవరు ఎవరు రారే రారే వైద్యులు ఆతులు ఏ మైరి స్నేహితులు అడగండి న్యాయం ఇదేనా గాలి నింగి నీరు భూమి నిప్పు నీరు రామ వర్తన లేరా ఒకరు యాజ్ వేణుస్ ఎంటర్ ద లాస్ట్ స్టేజెస్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ లైఫ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ పాసిబుల్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ వాస్ ట్రైడ్ అవుట్ but it was too late it was always the catching up the pain it was three weeks of plain torture suffocation and unbearable pain to the family and friends on the night of may 13th the doctors called his family and told them that it would not survive beyond the morning next day जाऊंगा मैं तुझसे आज सवेरे फिर भी कभी अब नाम को तेरे आवाज में
जाऊंगा मैं तुझसे आज सवेरे फिर भी कभी अब नाम को तेरे आवाज मैं न दूंगा आवाज मैं न दूंगा जाऊंगा मैं तुझसे आज सवेरे देख मुझे सब है पता सुनता है तू मन की सदा देख मुझे सब है पता सुनता है तू मन की सदा मितवा जाऊंगा मैं तुझसे आज सवेरे फिर भी कभी अब नाम को तेरे आवाज मैं न दूंगा आवाज मैं न दूंगा जाऊंगा मैं दर्द भी तू चैन भी तू दर्श भी तू नैन भी तू दर्द भी तू चैन भी तू दर्श भी तू नैन भी तू मितवा जाऊंगा मैं तुझसे आज सवेरे फिर भी कभी अब नाम को तेरे आवाज मैं न दूंगा आवाज मैं न दूंगा आवाज मैं न दूंगा The next day the family reached the hospital and waited outside the ICU. He was sinking and doctors were making frantic efforts to revive him. But nothing worked. He died soon after on May 14 in the morning.